Hi, welcome back. Okay, Miss Thief, she's getting weirder and weirder. She like stares at me all creepy and she continues to overfeed my dog, no matter how many times I tell her not to. And there's only three of us at my table now. And there's plenty of room. And she sits like practically on top of my lap. And every single meal, I'm like, scoot over. I'm claustrophobic. And she still sits like on top of my lap. So now I don't even eat with the rest of them. So it's meal time right now and Bella's whining. Yeah, keep whining. We'll go out later. And I will go out after they've finished. And I'll eat alone with Bella. And it makes me a little bit sad because I like everybody else. But I cannot handle her creepy staring at me and her sitting on my lap practically. I'm like, there are very few people in this world who are allowed to sit on my lap. Smith, this one's for you. Okay, so I used to be Mormon. I actually served a mission. And the people you live with all the time, they're called companions. One of my companions was named Smith. Yeah, real name, but it's a very common name. We go by last names. Smith um, organized everybody getting together after I was diagnosed. And um, she is allowed to run up and sit on my lap and kiss me all over. And I'm allowed to run up and sit on her lap and kiss her all over. And when she comes home covered in kiss marks, it's nothing weird for her husband. He's like, oh, you saw Kirby today. <laughs> and I will say this for my mission sisters. In fact, all of my Mormon friends, when I left the church, I didn't lose a single Mormon friend. Um, I'd heard all these stories about people leaving the church and a lot of their friends were like, oh, I can't be friends with you anymore. None of my friends did that. I have real friends. When I left the church, they were like, hey, you know, we still believe in it, but you got to do what you got to do. This is you do what's right for you. They knew that I did not make this decision lightly at all. So Smith is allowed to sit on my lap. She is allowed to cover me in kisses. Miss creepy thief lady next door. She is not. No. Yeah. So that's about it for today. Um, the list of people who are allowed to jump on my lap and cover me in kisses. Smith also used to pin me down and fart on me. And I could have easily kicked her ass, but I would have done damage and I actually liked her, so I never did. But, and I can't fart on command like she can. Although one time, all right, I will share a mission story. Most times when you get return missionaries together, all their stories are the same. No, no, not for me. Um, one time I was with Labras, and we never sat together on buses so that we could um, talk to more people. We were in France at the time. Um, I was in France and Switzerland. The home was in Switzerland. And there was, we were on a bus, and I was sitting on a four-seater, two seats looking at two seats. And this four, 450-pound dude gets on the bus, three teeth, they're all silver. And he comes and sits across from me, and he's like, hey. How you doing? It's gonna rain, huh? And I'm like, yeah. What do I know about the weather? And so I'm not trying to convert him. I, I'm not interested in talking, in prolonging this conversation. Later that day, I'm, we're on a different bus. I'm sitting on a two-seater. Same dude gets back on the bus, beelines it to me, plops himself next to me. Now I'm sitting on a half-seater and he does the whole stretch arm around the girl move. I'm so naive. I'm thinking, God's going to protect me. 